proteins are everywhere, in food, cosmetics, but most importantly in all living beings, in plants, animals and of course humans. There they play an important role in growth, brain function, healing and many other things. So what are proteins? Proteins are special molecules that are made from our genetic code as chains of amino acids that can fold up into three-dimensional structures. For the many processes in the living cell, there are thousands of different proteins with different shapes and sizes. Science has shown that the three-dimensional structure of the protein is important for its function and the protein data bank now contains a large number of protein structures. All these structures have helped us understand how proteins work. For example, it is now possible to create drugs that match the shape of proteins and so treat diseases. We call this a lock and key mechanism. Proteins also have flexible parts, for example to bind to other proteins. So-called hub proteins have many binding partners and change their shape depending on which partner they bind to. The importance of proteins' plasticity and flexibility is seen by the rapid increase in the number of reports about disorder in proteins. In fact, disorder has often been described in literature in many different terms and one wonders why it took so long to realize that it is a research field in its own right. Only recently a single name was agreed on that shows how important it is. Intrinsically Disordered Proteins or IDPs To illustrate flexibility in proteins, let's look at what happens when a protein unfolds. Where the folded form has a more or less fixed shape, the unfolded one looks like a flexible string that constantly changes shape. Such flexibility is very important. For example, in binding of two proteins where one has to adapt to the shape of the other. In diseases like Parkinson, Alzheimer and Prion disease, healthy proteins unfold and refold into a different shape. For example, prion proteins normally contain helical structures that can change into a disease form with so-called beta sheets. These proteins then assemble into fibrillar aggregates, causing plaques to be formed in the brain. Disorder in proteins is so important that it is encoded in our genetic code from which we can predict whether proteins are likely to become intrinsically disordered. So how do you study something that is always changing shape? IDPs pose big challenges and many different techniques are used in this field of research, 